All right, guys, we are headed back to the shop now. I got a truck in the shop. I'm trying not to film any of the mechanic stuff that I do unless it's like really interesting or if there's a problem, right? So yesterday, uh, actually the other day, I got this truck in. I did a transmission output shaft seal. That means pull out the transfer case, replace the output shaft seal because it was piston tranny fluid. It is a G56. It's a 2018 3500 single rear wheel. The last year of the G56 and a really odd 342 gear ratio, which is cool because it, it matches with the G56. Um, so I did the transmission output shaft seal. He drove it around, everything was good, but when we put it back down on the ground, he noticed that there was a leak out of the pinion seal, which is pretty common, it happens. But this is a te uh, Texas truck, and the reason I'm bringing this up, which I know I don't have to, but I'm gonna film it anyway, is the 2014 to 2018 Ram 3500 single wheels. If you guys have ever tried to buy the output or the uh, the pinion seal, they're a bitch to find. And uh, Fisher said they had one down in Texas. Uh, the dealership would not actually even answer. Um, usually I have a pretty good relationship with that, but they wouldn't answer this time. And uh, we got a Duralast seal. AutoZone is actually who came in clutch on this one. They found the part number, and I said, okay, I'll use that, try to find it, call you back. Napa doesn't make it. Fishers couldn't get it in time. Advanced, I don't even give them the time of day. He got a seal from O'Reilly's, which was the wrong seal. But if you guys are looking for the transmit or the uh, the differential output shafts, or the, the fucking pinion bearing seal, the part number is 711076 for your 14 to 18 Ram 3500 single wheels. And I'm pretty sure the same is with the dualies. So we're gonna go back to the shop, get this installed so that he can make his way back to Texas. Um, we did the output shaft seal for the, uh, the transmission. He drove it around and then brought me a seal yesterday just to find out it was the wrong seal. So not his fault, it's actually everybody, even AutoZone thought that that was the correct seal and it wasn't. So they found me this, this seal, this Duralast seal, so that's what we're gonna use. That is the only thing that we, we just couldn't find it anywhere. All right, so let's go compare. This is uh, the old one. And I didn't realize they put fucking Vaseline in the middle, but here is the, uh, the new one. So that's the correct seal. Whereas, I don't know, I think he already took the uh, old one, but we got one from O'Reilly's and it was wrong. He got one from O'Reilly's and it was wrong. So I'm gonna get this installed quick before he gets here. And then we're gonna fill the rear differential and then we're gonna go take it up on the hill, park it sideways for a little bit and then do the same thing with the other side. It's a very important step. Either that or do some figure eights in the truck to get the, the fluid to go over to the wheel bearings. Anytime you change this rear diff fluid, there should still be a little bit in there. But the problem is when you drain the rear ends and you just go drive down the highway, Hmm, oh my lights just went out. But uh, when you go drive down the highway, you're gonna blow uh, a wheel bearing. So I think my switch just went out, cause guys, if you buy these fucking eBay lights, I've already replaced that one and uh, that one there. You guys will see, I've had to butt connect wires because the switches keep going out. Look at this, that switch is gone, so. Probably gonna have to put a better on-off switch on that. Kinda, that's depressing. All right, there's the new seal installed. By the way, it does have the factory air suspension and all that shit. You can see the uh, leaf pack difference and whatnot. Massive fucking overloads. But, there you go. So, now we put the pinion back in, line everything up, and uh, torque it down. You guys will also see, took some scotch Brite to that. She's all nice, so. There's the nut, everything's marked. Let's get her torqued down. All right, everything is put back together. We cleaned up everything underneath. You guys see, at least uh, the best of my abilities got all that clean, so we'll know if there's any leaks, whatnot. But I've never had one come back and leak except for Josh's, but that was because we replaced the pinion and you shouldn't be able to do that. So make sure that there is nothing between there and we're good to go. So there's all the fluid. Definitely smelt like burnt fluid. So he should be here in a little bit. If you guys are wondering how I got that seal out too, this is one of those, 
it's such a close tolerance. They're not like the third gens and early fourth gens where you can just stick a screwdriver and pound it in. So we used the screwdriver method and then did the twist. Because if you try to pry, it does this. So you just quick, just do one of these the whole way around. It comes out eventually. So I'm gonna order the new, I'm just gonna get a new switch, like one that's actually meant for it. And as they go bad, I'm just gonna butt connect them all. Um, I'm having him do the whole sit it on an angle type deal like that. So let all the, the fluid go to one side. That's where we're at today. Like I said, I'm not filming a lot of the stuff. If you guys were bringing that white truck back in, um, the second gen that had the uh, oil pump issue, let me know if you guys are interested in that and I'll let you guys know what I find if you're interested in it. If not, I'm just gonna do it and get it over with. Probably gonna do that when I get back from my trip. Um, but yeah, I am scheduling stuff. If you guys are interested, cpstevemiller.com. I left another battery over here. And uh, yeah, let me know. Let's uh, get to the rest of the video. So we are headed to Texas and I hit something last night on the left side. So I wanted to park and check it out because this is the one side I don't have TPMS on. But it looks like it hasn't affected anything. It doesn't seem to have affected anything. I only really drove an hour last night because like I worked yesterday and then gym and then between everything else, fucking tired. So let's get the show on the road. After we pick up, we're going to get on Central and start looking for stuff out of Texas. I'm also going to let everyone know, hey, Texas, uh, let's check and see if we have any directs. And we'll go from there. But let's, uh, weird sound yesterday. Let's see if she starts. All right, guys. Contrary to popular belief, I love pulling these light trailers. She said this thing estimated about 4,600 pounds. So this is what we're pulling. She said she'll lock it up when she gets back out here. But I should have got, um, video of the back. I think I, oh, actually, I didn't even get pictures of it, but. There you go. Easy, easy run. Pays pretty decent. Um, probably going to lift that front up a lot and then adjust my hitch. So we'll see where she wants to sit and go from there. All right, so Sheets gives you that nice little downhill slope left right here. So we're going to fill up whatever's left in the aux tank. Going to try to put it in the tank. We got about 18 hours to go. So this is a pretty easy trailer. I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna show you guys with it. Probably just gonna go drop it off. If there's any issues or whatnot, cool. We'll figure that out. Um, it is raining now, but I'm gonna go in and do what I need to do. I think I'm gonna put a quart in the, uh, the transmission. All right, since that last stop, 240 minutes, 258 miles. I'm gonna shut her off. Sorry, coolant and trans temp. We were just sitting in traffic, but I'm gonna get fuel here at the Mr. Fuel. Um, I think it was like 3.30 something. I don't know what my discount. All right, so I broke my little crimper out for that guy right there. Put that right on the negative. I put a quart of fluid in the tranny because I've been meaning to do that all week. And we got fuel. I haven't even looked at the bill yet. Oh my goodness, that's actually not bad. So we'll throw everything back in here. And then we're done for a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. We got like 14 hours on the trip to go. So it should be all right. This little masterpiece here has been fine. I had to wrap it around here because if not, that thing was super long. All right, so there's the Mr. Fuel and all of that behind that wall right there is all water. So all of that is right next to your fuel tanks under the ground. It's kind of concerning to be honest. All right, this is gonna be the last update I give you guys on this trip here, or at least in this video. Uh, we got about 300 miles to this tank and uh, we are parked on the curb, on the edge. There's a, uh, a drop off right there, um, but I need fuel. So I'm gonna get fuel I hate how these rest areas are set up because like if there's no parking they just take you out like you can't just turn around why why is that light out 
That's some bullshit. I gotta check these lights. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with uh, this trailer. But the right side turn signal is out. It's weird, I don't know. There is a whole ass truck tire here next to this embankment. But, definitely gonna replace these bolts on this guy here when, uh, when we get it painted. I gotta get this thing painted gloss black. These bolts like to uh, come loose, I've noticed. But I'm gonna check the fuses see what's going on i'd like to check the drive shafts make sure that the bolts are still tight and uh that'll be our maintenance for the day but it's kind of nice just being able to get into a truck that just drives down the road cruise control on no issues we're gonna find it trailer park lamps park lamps left turn what is it right turn so 16 which would be that 15 right there. That well, fuse is good. No, I think it was right, yeah, right or left. 14 is this one. That one's good. Saw a bunch of stuff going out, yep. And then this one. Yeah. Might just be a plug issue to be honest, but uh, everything's good. Ground wire for uh, that guy there is installed. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more when I get home. I would actually like to shorten that potentially or see if shortening it makes sense. So you guys will see, there's no leaks under here anymore. I gotta clean all that up, but you can see the trans is clean. I did wipe behind there. It's crazy to me how this truck had so many leaks that it supported the frame like there's no rust on the frame except like there was one tiny little spot over there and then one spot in the back but how this rocker got like this like the body itself from like the rocker side and the doors and the bed like the whole body on this truck is just shit but the fucking i i don't understand how the frame stayed in as good a condition as it got mind you it's not perfect i think we have that one we have that one tiny spot right there which i'll probably take care of um and then there was one spot over there where i reinforced all the way on the other side but the rest of the truck i mean is shit you know what i mean um she's like truck is super reliable but that's about uh, that's about where it ends. I'm gonna show you guys. I'll show you guys the other side, cause um, right here, I did the frame right there. So I mean, besides those two spots, the frame is solid, which I'll probably fix that when I get back. That's not a big deal. But the body itself just got pummeled. So. Um, I did uh, did get a call the other day about an axle. Um, like I was saying to you guys, we have the bed and a tailgate locked down. So don't anybody text me about beds or tailgates. Um, still looking for doors. No, I'm not going to use any sites. I want to get one from one of you guys if anybody's selling doors. And then we're going to cut all this out and I'm replacing the entire rocker. Like you can see this. I just had a skeeter on my hand. But uh, yeah, we're going to replace all of this. Don't worry. Um, until we do the mega cab, I'd like this truck to be as nice as possible. And then we'll take all the parts from this truck to the next truck. And um, yeah, I mean, I just, I want the truck to be nice in the meantime, because I am going to have this truck probably a couple years before we consider the mega cab. So just keep that in mind. But this is going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and uh, if anything drama-wise happens, I'll let you know. But I will film like the drop-off and shit. So see you guys.